In this video I will be showing you guys how to install HN Core 2 on your PlayStation Vita or PS TV. There's one thing to note, this works from firmwares to 3.65 to 3.71. 3.72 was released maybe today, I'm not sure, but as far as I know it does not work on this. You also must have a PlayStation account signed in. It can be any random account, but you must have one. And you also must have a memory card if it's the old fashioned PS Vita like this one. But let's go onto my computer right now and I will show you guys what we have to do. So there will also be a link to this article in the description of the video. It's about Hencore 2 for 3.71. So you guys can follow along and install this if you wish. And it's also got a mini guide down here, um, but it's not really that good. So I'll be covering that anyway. And yeah, it's got a lot of information on here that you guys need. So there's a few things we need to know first. This only works for 3.65 to 3.71. So if you've got 3.60, you might as well just get Enso. And if you have 3.72, I don't think it works. I will make another video on 3.72 and um, I'll find some more info about it but first of all let's just cover this so yeah there's some information here it's different from the Trinity exploit if you guys remember that it works on both PS Vita models and it also works on the PS TV. You must have a PS Vita memory card for this to work. Um, also, the exploit has a 25% success rate. So you might have to tr try it a couple of times in order to get it working. And um, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, you can always downgrade as well, um, but you can't downgrade 3.71 as far as I know. You also need a PlayStation Network account, and you also need one of the games off the store. So anyway, once you've got all of these things, let's just follow along with the guide. So what you guys want to do is go to the guide. There will be a guide in the description. I'll make sure this is the first link, and this is the guide for Hencore 2. Here there are requirements again, if you guys wish to read them, pretty much just covered them. And yeah, let's go down. So installation, the first thing you need to do is click on this, Hencore 2. This will automatically download a zip file so as soon as you click this it's going to download the zip file for us so now we can close that off next you need to download QCMA PSV image tools and PKG to zip so QCMA I have already got this installed but what you do is you scroll down and you choose your operating systems so you choose Windows Mac OS or um, I believe there's a Linux one I'm not sure but mine is Windows so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one click on the Windows installer I've already got this installed and the chances are you've probably got this installed as well next you need to go to the next Next link, this is for um, what was this? PSV image tools. So you need to click on releases and you guys can grab the latest release of this. Kind of old software, 2017. But you want to scroll down and you want to choose your operating system again. I've got Windows, so I would choose this one, the Windows 64 bit. So I can click on that and that will actually download. Again, I've actually got a copy of this, but that's fine. I can download it just for the video. Okay, so once this has done installing, the next one you need to get is PKG to zip. So also click on releases and we need to grab a copy of this. So I'm gonna get the Windows 64 bit version. So you can just click on that and wait for this to download as well. I've already got it, but there you go, it downloads in a second. And then there you go. Now we can go back onto the guide. So that is pretty much it. We also need to grab a bit of smile demo. So what you guys wanna do, click on this and it will actually download the game for you. Now I've already got this downloaded, 200 megabytes, wait for it to download and then it will be in your downloads folder. So now let's go to my downloads folder and let's check out all of these files that we've downloaded. Okay guys, so your downloads folder has to look like this. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. So make sure you have all of these four files. And if you don't play back the video, you might have missed something. So what we want to do is get the demo file. We want to right click it and we want to go into rename. And what you want to do is just call this demo. It's going to have a load of rubbish on here, but you want to call it demo all in capitals and then just press enter. It's then going to end up as demo.pkg if you have extensions enabled. Okay, and then what you want to do is double click on the QCMA setup. You must have this installed on your computer otherwise it's just not going to work so make sure you install this as I said I have already got this installed so I'm not going to waste my time as reinstalling it but all you have to do is just wait for this to unpack and then you select your language and then it will just let you install I will show you basically how to do it you just click next a few times it's pretty much just common sense but let me show you English and then you just click next next again you guys get the idea you just complete the setup easy as that once you've got this set up you can actually delete it just to keep things neat in your downloads folder so let's just delete this file and then we can just refresh 
Okay guys, the next step is to extract all of these zip files and make sure they're in some kind of folder. So we're gonna select all of these three. We're gonna right click it and we're going to select extract here. Now this might take maybe a minute or a few seconds. There you go, it's going to extract everything. Now the zip files are probably still selected. So what you wanna do is just press delete on your keyboard and we're actually going to remove them. So there you go, you should have all of these files. It should look exactly the same as me. Okay guys, so now we are on to step four. You want to click in the search bar at the top and you want to type in CMD, just like this, letter CMD, and I'll just press enter. And it's actually going to enter open up a CMD just for this file folder. So now what we have to do is go back onto the website. We're going to copy in this text right here. So we're gonna click right click, copy. We're gonna go back and we're gonna press control V for paste into our little CMD box. And we actually wanna backspace all of this path of rubbish. And we just want to type in demo. So D-E-M-O, if I can even spell D-E-M-O dot pkg just like this demo.pkg um, it can be lowercase just like this um, so let me show you it's exactly the same as it is in the folder as you can see this one will actually match this one i can't even spell i swear there you go demo.pkg so it's going to match this file and then we're just going to press enter on our keyboard and it's going to start um, extracting it start unpacking the app so we've got to wait for this wait to it wait for it to get to 100 percent and i will be back when this is done unpacking Okay guys, so when it's done, it's actually gonna say done right here. We need to click the cross on this. We need to right click, we need to refresh this page. We need to double click on the app folder. We need to double click on this folder that says PS, PCS. And then we want to copy the contents of this folder. So highlight all of it with your mouse, right click and select copy. You then need to go back twice and we need to go into the Hencore 2 folder. So double click on this. We need to go into app. We need to go into this file here right here that has UXO on it. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna paste in here. This is gonna paste all of the files that we actually need to copy across. So again, just wait for this to copy across. It shouldn't really take too long. Okay guys, so once it's done, you can go back to the root of the new folder. We need to go back into app. We need to go into this one. We need to find this one that says S-C-E-S-Y-S -S at the end, double click. Um, we need to go into the package folder and we're looking for this one, temp.bin. What you wanna do, right click on this and then select copy. Then you want to go back to where it says new folder. We need to find HNCore 2. We need to go into the license folder. We need to go inside of this one, right click and paste. Okay, so we're not done with temp bin just yet. What you want to do is go back onto the website and we actually need to scroll down and we're looking for step six. We need to copy this line of text here. Now it's a load of random numbers and letters and it has dot riff at the end. Right click, copy, and then what you want to do is go back into your downloads, find the temp.bin file, right click, rename, and you want to paste this in. Now it must have dot bin at the end. That's because you must have hidden file extensions enabled. So press enter on your keyboard, click on yes. If you don't have hidden file extensions, you want to click on view. You want to make sure this one is ticked, file name extensions. As you can see, if I untick that and, and refresh just like this, it will actually probably hide it. So I make sure this one is always ticked so I can see their secret extensions. So yeah, make sure this is on there. And now we can go back to the root of new folder. Okay guys, so now it's time to open up that program we installed. It was called QCMA, so type that in, QCMA. And we're actually gonna find it on here. You just wanna click on it, it will actually be listed as an app, and it's just going to start up. Now if you're wondering why the program is not actually starting, that's because it starts down here uh, just in small. So you've just gotta wait for it to load. I don't know how long it takes, it should just take a few seconds. So there you go, it will appear like this. And what you wanna do is make sure it's selected on public networks, and just click on allow access. Now you've just got to wait for it to refresh your database. For some reason, mine reads some of my like old pictures and stuff, but just wait for it to read some of your files and now the program will actually open. So to bring up the settings, what you guys wanna do is click on the little drop down arrow by here, down here, find QCMA, right click it and you can see we've got options. What you wanna do is just click on settings and it will actually open up the settings page. So on the settings page, what you wanna do is click on other and make sure all of these settings are the same. So you can leave it on offline mode. As you can see, the database has now refreshed. Leave it on the latest firmware and you can leave it on the latest firmware with here as well. So we can now click on okay and there you go. Now it's running. Okay guys, now we're gonna connect our PS Vita. So what you wanna do is you want to find content manager. Now mine looks like this. Um, yours might have the original logo on. But you just wanna find content manager, tap on it, it will look like this. Then what you wanna do is click on copy content. And while that's loading up, you're going to go and plug in your cable. Now as you plug in the cable, it should actually connect. I connected a bit late, so I'm just gonna try that again. I'll just go on copy content. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, it's now connected. Now, I always have problems with QCMA, so if you have issues, don't worry. I'm going to make a video showing you how to fix every problem. Um, I always just come across new errors, and I always find out how to fix them. You know, it takes me a while, but I always work it out in the end. And there you go, I'm connected onto my computer, so if you're having problems with this, as I said, don't worry, lots of errors with this. But the screen should look just like this if you did it, and you got lucky, and it worked, you know, as simple as that. So now we're going to go back onto our computer. Make sure you leave it on this screen, and I will show you guys what to do. Okay, so once you guys are back on your computer and your PS Vita is connected via QCMA, click on this drop down arrow again, find QCMA, right click it, click on settings, we're then going to click browse on applications and backups, and then we're going to double click on the app folder, we need to copy this ID, so we're going to right click this folder, we're going to click on rename, then we're going to do right click and we'll do copy, do not delete this, if you do press Control Z to undo it, once you've got this copied, you just want to click on cancel, and then I'll show you guys what to do now. Okay, so now we're looking at step eight. What you want to do is actually click where it says here in blue, and it's going to bring you out to this website. Now, you might want to open it in a new tab because for some reason, you know, we'll just open it. But you want to write um, control paste, so control V, or just right click paste, and you want to paste in your ID. Now we're going to click on submit, and it's going to give us this special ID here. Okay, so we're going to create a backup of this key. So we're going to select the whole thing, right click and copy. We're now going to go into our downloads folder. We're going to right click, new, and we're going to make a text document just like this one. But if you want to copy me, you can just call it z-id-key. And I'm just going to press enter. And I'm just going to go into this, right click and paste in my line of text. So as you can see, mine looks just like this. And I'm just going to go on file and save. We want to make sure we save a copy of this and do not lose it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to select every file except for the demo folder, except for the demo.pkg. And we're going to put this inside of the Hencore 2 folder. So as you can see, drag and drop it, refresh it, and it should look just like this. Now we're going back into the Hencore folder, click on the search bar at the top and just type in CMD again and I'll press enter. And again, it's going to bring up this like little um, command prompt window for us. Now this bit is very easy, but it just might take some time. What you want to do is go back onto the official website. We want to scroll down to step 9, and you want to copy all of this information. Select it, right click, and copy. We're now going to go back into our text document, and what you want to do, just do a few returns, right click, and paste. Basically, you see where it says your key right here? We need to get our custom key, and we're actually going to paste that in there. So you want to do control copy just on your keyboard, or right click copy, whatever you find easier. Where it says your key, highlight this, and then right click paste. You want to make sure you do it in order so as you can see mine is just like this now I could make this smaller to make it a bit more easable but you guys get the idea and um, you basically just want to do this actually let's make it a bit smaller maybe I'll just change the size a bit so you guys get the idea it's pretty simple you want to do that to all of them so where it says your key highlight it very carefully right click paste again do it on this one and we're just going to do it for all of them just where it says your key we just want to paste in our very own custom key and we're going to start with the first command we want to right click copy this make sure you highlight it first go into command prompts press um, right click paste or control v whatever you prefer and then what we're going to do is we're going to press enter on our keyboard now if you did this right it's, you're going to see all of this crazy and um, like text appear on the screen and it's basically going to be packing the file so i can't remember how long this takes we've just got to wait for it and yeah just wait for this to complete and um, i will tell you guys when it's done Okay guys, it's done. I think that took two minutes, I think, maybe two minutes. But once it's done, you're going to see just like this and it's going to be, um, you know, back just to the new folder. So now we're going to grab the second line of text and um, we've now got three more to do. So right click copy, make sure you don't miss anything, control V for paste, press enter key and there you go. Now this one was a bit faster. So once that's done, we need to grab the third one as well. Control copy, control paste on your keyboard or control V press enter and there you go we're going to do this one as well as you can see it says adding files and now we have got the last one to do which is this one here so we're going to copy this one as well we're going to do right click and paste whatever you prefer press enter and there you go there you go that is pretty much it we have now finished this part Okay guys, so that is now done. You can actually click the cross on this. You can delete all this stuff. We don't actually need it anymore. And now we can just save this just so we keep the key. So now we can close out of this one. 
Okay guys, so once that's done, we need to find our game, we need to right click it, and we need to go into copy. We then need to go and find QCMA. So click on this arrow, right click it, go into the settings. We need to find applications and backup. So click on browse on this one. We need to go into um, the app folder, which is the one at the top. So double click on this, double click on your custom ID, right click and paste your game in here. And then there you go, it should look just like this. You've got your game inside of the app folder, inside of this custom ID folder. So now what we can do, we can click on cancel, we can click on OK, and then that is it for the PC. But there's one more thing pretty much, you just need to find QCMA, right click this, and just do refresh database. Now once this is finished refreshing, um, we can actually go onto our PS Vita, and we can copy across the files. Okay guys, so once we are back from our computer, what we can actually do is copy it across. So we're going to select P um, PC to PS Vita. We're going to press X on this. We're going to choose Applications. And if we go into PS Vita, we can actually find it in here. So we can tick the box. We can go on Copy and click on OK. I've already got one, so I'm actually going to overwrite this. And as you can see, it's going to be copying the latest version of Hencore 2. Now, if you have the old version, should you overwrite it as well? Um, probably not. There's probably not much point. If you've already got Hencore and you're watching this video, um, there's probably not much point of getting a new version. I don't really think it does anything else. But as you can see, we're now going to copy this across. Um, 97 minutes. I don't think that's quite right. So... Um, I will be back when it's done. I will tell you how long it actually took. Oh, there you go. 11 minutes. That sounds a bit more believable. Okay, so I will be back when it's done, and I will show you guys what to do. Okay, so it's finished. I'm pretty sure it's done. Once it's done, you want to click cancel, go back, go back again, and now go back one more time, and you can actually unplug the um, USB cable that's plugged in. So now what we can do is press our home button. We can close out of this, and we can actually look for it on our home screen. So here it is, a nice red icon. We can go ahead, and we can actually start this up. We can go on yes. And as you can see, it will start just like this. Now, it's pretty much um, the same. As you can see, we've got install Henkaku. We can actually press X to go and install this. So now we're going to say installing success. We can also install VitaShell. If you want to install VitaShell, make sure um, you've got your Wi-Fi turned on. So I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi on. It was actually turned off during the installation. And that's just to, you know, fix any problems. So if you're having problems, go ahead, stick airplane mode on. You never know, it might help. Um, but once your Wi-Fi is connected, we can actually download VitaShell as well. I already have VitaShell. I think this is going to update my current one. So um, I'm not too sure. It's going to download anyway. We'll find out. Maybe I had an old version. Who knows? So there you go. This is the latest VitaShell. Um, there's also personalized save data and there's reset um, the Thai hen config.txt. Wouldn't really recommend doing that. That kind of just resets your settings. It's just a bit pointless. Now we can press X to go on exit and we can actually find out what does it say in system settings. So we go ahead and we start up the system settings and we go down into my system information here. So I just go on this one, system information. There you go, 3.68 Hencore, perfect, exactly what we wanted. So then there you go, that is pretty much it. There's a few things that you must do. Scroll up, we're going to go into the Henkaku settings. We're going to make sure spoofing is enabled, and we need to spoof version 3.72. This is now the latest version. When we're spoofing this, everything should be good. And the coolest part is, when we're spoofing our custom firmware, we can actually access the PS Store. So check this out, even though it's on an old firmware, with custom firmware, we can actually access the PS Store. Now Sony are being massive twats about this. Why did they release 3.72 as soon as the update came out? That is crazy. Why are they still patching this? I have no idea. But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. These always take a long time to make, so hopefully you guys do enjoy watching them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.